We present a case of Coates disease. An eight-year-old boy having extensive lipid collection along with a scar on the macular area. There was an inferior exudative retinal detachment along with large telangiectatic vessels. We undertook the patient for pars plana vitrectomy. A core vitrectomy was carried out. Extensive lipid deposition and abnormal vascularization could be visualized. After that, triamcinolone was injected to stain the posterior hyloid. PVD was achieved using high suction. After that, residual vitreous was cleared. Perfluorocarbon liquid was injected to stabilize the posterior pole. Endodiathermy was applied to large vessels in the temporal periphery to prevent bleeding. A large retinectomy was made in the periphery using the cutter. At this stage, some of the heavy liquid was aspirated. Then, the temporal retinal flap was averted with the help of a forceps. Some adhesions were gently released. At this stage, some of the exudates were released into the surrounding fluid. A bulk of exudates were seen partly on the undersurface of retina and partly on the underlying choroid. Active suction with a cutter was used to aspirate these exudates. The retinectomy was extended a bit further so as to allow more eversion of the flap to get access to the macular area. PFCL was further injected in the subretinal space to keep the flap retracted. It also helped disperse the sticky exudates. At this stage, the submacular scar was visible and was gently separated from its surrounding adhesions.
once free, it was picked up with an intraocular forceps. After that, PFCL was injected to flatten the retina. Endolaser was carried out to barrage the retinectomy as well to coagulate the telangiectatic vessels. Air fluid exchange was done and eventually silicone oil was injected. The macular area appeared substantially clear of the subretinal exudates and scar which was seen preoperatively. Post one week and one month follow-up revealed a gradual regression of the overall activity of abnormal vessels. This technique could be used in select cases of coats having extensive exudation to allow faster regression and flattening of the macula.